All right, folks, welcome back. Haven't done anything without y'all, so don't worry. We're just gonna get in the Humvee, hopefully drive to the gas station without any issues, and then we're gonna come back and uh, go from there. I gotta remember it's on the other side as every other vehicle. Well, we're gonna drop out here. Hey! Hey, you! Slacker! You over there! Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, move! Okay, that zombie's just like a free kill then. Hey, and did all y'all to follow me? We're gonna just go away for a little bit so I can get gas in my car, and then y'all are welcome to do whatever you want. Port up here, so let's, let's just might as well merge them, right? Oi, you lock. I think I'll lead them north into the field. Let's just walk past all these guys. By walk, I mean do a little bit of a jog. Let's double back, collect anyone we might have lost here. Come on, y'all. All right. Now we're just gonna walk nice and easily into the uh, hayfield, looking at our big group of friends over here. As long as we can get like maybe a minute of, you know, reprieve, I think we'll be okay. Is that another zombie horde? It is. Come on. It'd be really nice if it was like a fence at the other end of this. I can lure them all over and then jump back over myself and then whoop. just poof it. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, tighten up, you losers. Come on. Okay. It looks like it just goes to a tree line. I guess we'll lure them past this tree line. And then I'll kind of cut to the right, double back. See what I can do from there. Oh, now we're hungry. That's cute. I don't think I have anything to eat, unfortunately. Oh, look, another little horde. Come on, let's collect you two. Run down this way for a second. Hey, come on, y'all. All right, I'm gonna smoke. Then once we're done smoking, we'll go ahead and run back to the gas station. And I'll start kind of going that way now, and now let's go. Let's just haul, we're just gonna haul balls. Uh, kind of go through the tree line here so that some of them get slowed down as we're going. We're just gonna poof it. Probably gonna be a dozen or so zombies that didn't come with us. We're gonna have to deal with, but I think as long as we can get to the truck, kill the ones that are closest, we should be fine. Let's come in this way, like we took the truck in. I think there's probably going to be a couple of zombies up over there, as you can see. Oh, 
also want to fill up the gas cans, but that'll be a secondary objective. Cut through here. That guy's still just chilling there. Come on. Come on. Refuel from gas pump. Okay. So you finally decided to move, huh, buddy? Right, let's check around real quick. They're all coming back. Now take fuel. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. We don't have full gas, because I think we were cut off by just a little bit, but... Better than nothing. So I kind of looked up where the uh, farm plot that we want to go to is at. And uh, if we just basically follow this road all the way down till it turns, and then turn, we'll uh, come over to it. Shit. Thank God this thing's fucking heavy. And big. Did that hurt us too bad? No, it didn't. Yeah, thank God for seatbelts, you know what I'm saying? I wish I could, uh a little bit further, but... This will also be a good way to get this area mapped. I don't think there's any Doe Valley maps, unfortunately. We just kind of got to map ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Incidentally, how many zombies have we killed? 97. Not bad. Almost a hundred with just, like, trying to get out of the first town and secure a way of transportation and stuff. Absolutely insane. Oh! There goes my, uh, windshields. I should be careful about hitting anything else with this. I think if we're getting to around 90, we need to just kind of let off the accelerator for a second here. Okay, okay. Oh, god damn it. This thing's just too, like, powerful. Let's disinfect this and then put a fucking band-aid on it. I'm an idiot. Okay. Can look at us over here just driving this and like I think the airbag deployed <laughs> I think that's what that is um, God, that's so fucked up still so many zombies around here. Let's check the map real quick. Or not, never mind. Uh, let's cut across here real quick. I think we're looking for the next, like, dirt road. This thing has some really good maneuverability, but really hurt to uh, ram shit in. Then the driver's suddenly not looking too bad now, is it? I think we have to be getting close. I think this is the road. Not 100%, but it doesn't hurt to check, you know? This is not the road. Check the map real quick. Where are we at? Center me, center me, center me, center me, center me. Okay, so I think it's the next one. So the trouble is, when we actually uh, do go to try and find a um, semi. We're either going to have to go on foot or leave behind the vehicle we take when we find the semi. This is the one we want, I think. Gotta be 
careful about roads. So. That. If I remember correctly, like I was saying, the uh, people liked to use this road for some reason. Just really enjoyed driving down it. Any moment now, we should be coming up on the, uh, the warehouse. There we are. Home sweet home. Okay. Before we actually get out. Okay, we don't see any zombies there. Okay, let's kill the car. Let's sleep. Since we are tired, sleep a little bit here. And before we get out, we'll uh, smoke and eat. Okay, let's see. What do we have that does... You know what? We wouldn't eat all this cereal right here. Oh yeah, look at us. We're gaining weight like hella... Okay, once we're done with that, let's go ahead and uh, replace the bandage with another adhesive. There we go. Excellent. All right. Let's hop out, secure the area. Um, and by that, I mean let's go ahead and put the gas can that we had into the trunk. I guess the roof, because the trunk's not open. But let's go ahead and do that. That way... It's not weighing us down at all. Okay, looks good so far. Climb on through. Right now we're just going to check to see if there's any zombies, which it looks like there is one. This is my house now, buddy. Oh, there's more than one. Didn't see him there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and uh, close this window. All right, and then let's go ahead and open and close all the doors here. We already have a bunch of storage crates here, too. Perfect. Some of the food's already going to be rotten, so it's not going to help us too much here. Oh, that door's already unlocked. Nice. Excellent. I'm just going to run through here. All right. Looks like... There's no zombies nearby. Just a bunch of food. Oh, some of it's still fresh, some of it's rotten, some of it's stale. That's how it goes, isn't it? If only we had like refrigerators here, we could like, boom, knock them out. I might see if I can like pick up some refrigerators from somewhere, drive down with the, uh, the truck, and then with the truck we can, uh, you know, Carry some more refrigerators, I think. So let's see, we have crowbars, we have uh, this stuff here, a large vehicle hinge, door crafting. Oh. Okay, do we have uh, the like tools that I need to do stuff here? For example, like a, an axe would be just really great to have. A desktop computer, don't think we're gonna need that. Um, we have a saw. Crowbar, a wench. I say wench? Wrench. Yeah, no axes. Crap. I was kind of banking on there being good tools here. Um, that was weird. All right. <clears throat> so, we've made it to the farm. Um, can I make a bed? No. Is it under, like, carpentry, maybe? Like, furniture bed. Yes, so I need a mattress. How do I get a mattress? Can I make a mattress here? Does 
I need to be like tailoring or something. Wait, I don't think that shows everything, right? So if I go under like uh, carpentry, mattress, I need needle, thread, sheets, and pillows. Why do we need pillows to make a mattress? Ugh. I guess because it's that's what like would be the comfy stuff, right? All right? So we need needle, thread, sheets, and pillows. So if we do see pillows in the future, we'll need to uh, note that down. Okay. Well, after a little real quick survey, I think we're doing okay. I think I will, however, turn on the light switch here. That way, uh, when we do inevitably have the power turn off, I'll know when it does turn off. Uh, okay. Is there still a generator in one of these buildings? Forgot to check. I might have just overlooked it. No generator, damn. I think last time we had a generator. What, wasn't there like one like right between the two buildings when we came up here last time? Did we just get really bad RNG and now we don't have a generator? That might be the case. Plenty of farming and stuff, though. An imitation flamingo. Ooh. All right. Well, first things first. Let's drink. Fill our water bottles. Okay. Next, we'll open up the map. Now let's go ahead and put a house icon down here. Because this is going to be our home. Although it's going to be impossible to find from other places. Um, so let's see, our other character died here. Oh man, if I would have went the other way out of that town, out of the trailer park, we might have had a better chance of survival. Or if I would have like turned down this road instead. Well, if I would have turned down this road, I think we would have got to a different place. But at some point, we'll take this road down through here up through here because i know there was a, a semi trailer here with maybe gas so that would be good to have but uh yeah for now i think what we'll do go ahead and throw this boy open let's get our vehicle and i should be able to back it in there i hope a little slower please maybe Oh, not that way. Oh, there we go. Hell yeah, brother. Let me do it like that. Okay. I did leave it wrong. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, let's make sure I turn it off before we uh, poison ourselves with carbon monoxide. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Home sweet home. Oh. Excellent. Ooh. Man. All that work. Alright, so. Let's we'll start with these two things. I'm gonna just grab whatever's in them out of here. I think I'll just kind of put it over here for now. Because we can use the rotten stuff for uh, our compost and whatnot. We go under this. We go to furniture. We can make a composter, which we need carpentry level 2 for. Which we have plenty of wood stuff around here to deal with. I'm probably going to tear apart some of these crates. So what we should do right now is I think I have a carpentry 1 book somewhere here. Carpentry 2... Do I have a carpentry one? No. Are you kidding me? The one thing that I, like, needed. Well, let's take carpentry two anyway. Um, is there a light switch in here, by the way? I don't see one. I guess it's just gonna be dark. Well, shit. That's fine. Um... Mm -mm. Let's go ahead and start disassembling. Fortunately, we won't be able to remove the uh, chairs, I don't think, because they're just kind of there. But we can get rid of these tables anyway. 
Might leave the ones in the back. Should I? Hmm. I don't know. At least the first levels of carpentry will go by pretty quick. Which, we destroyed like five tables and we leveled it this far, so... Thank God for that five times multiplier experience that we decided to put on. I'm going to remove these bodies from my area here. I don't want them stinking up my house. Well, I might say house, but it's a warehouse. I think our actual house that we uh, are going to use is going to be the little shed down there. We can uh, use that as our main house. We'll have some stuff and supplies in there. But for now, we're just going to kind of focus on one of these buildings so far. Okay. Excellent. Let's see now. Let's tear apart these two. I need a saw. Luckily, I think I have a saw. And if I don't have one, then I know we have a... Uh, couple in the other building here so g for garden saw otherwise s for regular saw right okay what about the uh trunk 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 there we go trunk's a little finicky here um let's check s first our s saw heck yeah all right and look at our carpentry it's almost there just a couple more things all we need to do Okay, I'm going to leave those two, and then this one here we will tear apart. I just want them to kind of line the walls. I don't want to have them be, you know, in my way here, so. It's empty. It's also easier to get to the ones in the back if, uh, you know, there's nothing in front of them, right? Carpentry hit level two. All right. So now what can I make with that? Can I make uh, crates? Nope, because I need carpentry three for that. Uh, can I make a um, 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 rain collector barrel? I need carpentry four for that. Composter, carpentry two. All right, thanks. Because I think stuff rots after 24 hours, right? If it's, um, I, guess, I guess maybe it's sacks wouldn't rot. Or else it would have already rotted, right? I don't know. Or disappeared, anyway. Um, okay. How about this? I'm going to go over to these shelves. I'm just going to take this shelf, combine it with the other shelf here. And I'm going to take my equipment that I'm using and doing stuff with. I'm going to put it over here. Clone and painkillers and bandage we'll put over here. Everything else we'll hold on to for right now. Um, then let's go over to this side of the room. And over here, I'm just going to put these in. Okay, let's find something that's fresh. Rotten, rotten, rotten. Stale, 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 stale. I think we're going to find that everything is rotten or stale at this point. I think we even saw some stuff that was fresh um, that has gone rotten. So I'm going to open a sack of potatoes here. I think potatoes are going to be the only thing that's fresh now. Okay. Let's go ahead and hop into the Hummer and sleep. I can sleep in any way, I guess, but, or any door, I mean, but, yep. All right, sleep time. Ugh. Morning, morning. All right, how's our stress looking? Mm, don't really care about that. Okay. First of all, read our book. If we sit on the ground, it should go by faster, so... We're doing that. All right, now that we've read that, we can get rid of it. 
throwing it into not those that right here. Next, we can eat potato. Go ahead and eat another one, and then just one more. Nope, I can't eat that. Very much. I'm just gonna smoke a cig real quick. There we go. All right, cool. I'm gonna put these potatoes into here. All right, so let's start by getting all the guns and ammunition out of the truck. Food, 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 food. Uh, that's a gun. Here are some more guns. Pistol. Uh, lightweight stock. Guns, guns, guns. Okay. That's enough. that bandage. Oh god dang, we can store 70 in this thing? Give me these watermelons. Sacks of apple, please. Yup. Sheets. Oh, never mind. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's fine now. Okay. Back to taking away the guns and stuff. God, we have so many M9s. We just have so many rifles and stuff in general, I think. And just a carbine, I think. Yep. Right back over here. Now that this crate's full, um, I'm going to go ahead and take the ammunition and just put it into the other crate. That'll free up at least some space for more guns in this one. Should I keep the magazines with the guns or with the ammo? I guess we can see what happens when we uh, finish moving the stuff around. See which one has the most uh, room in it. Should I... Hmm. How much room's that got? 20? Yeah, okay. Let's put the... Um, like shotgun straps and other stuff into there as well. Okay. Alright, so we're at 50 and... What? 25 now, right? 21, okay. So if I were to take the magazines... The magazines don't weigh a whole lot. So... But if I do that, I won't be able to tell if the magazines... I have magazines for them right away at a glance. Well, I guess we don't have... Well, actually, we might have some more guns if we look at the top rack. Right? Right, guns and ammo. Shotgun shells. Uh, let's see here. Magazines. Mm. <laughs> Not the bottle, let me disinfect them. 
Okay. Yeah, we don't have that many more weapons. Let's see what fits where. Okay, cool. So, looks like we have an AK magazine without a gun. We have a CZ pistol and a magazine. An FAL battle rifle with no magazine uh, at all, it looks like, actually, because there's not even one in the gun. We have a G17 with a magazine. M16 with no gun. Uh, 1911 with a couple of pistols and magazines. A couple of shotguns. Got a revolver. A couple of M9s and those. An MP5 with no mag or no gun. Uh, MK2 with no gun. We have a PZ pistol. Or a P229 pistol with a couple magazines. We have some rifles, which this is a single shot, right? So, oh, it's got a magazine in it. Never mind. We have this shotgun, which doesn't need magazine. We have this, which uh, doesn't have a magazine. But maybe it's just one of those, like, you load it into the gun itself guns. Then we have uh, another gun we don't have. Another gun with no magazine. Another gun with no magazine. We got a Tech 9, or a pair of Tech 9s, with uh, a couple of magazines. So we could use those both at the same time if we wanted to. Hose down, you know, two targets, two directions. Just spread our arms and shit, right? And then we got uh, another carbine here. Cool. And then for ammunition, we have a box and some chains of shotgun shells, a bunch of 9mm, good amount of 7.62 and 45. Hmm. Sorry, I had to take a drink. We got some decent amount of Magnum, too. Special rounds are okay. 308s, barely any. 22, barely any. And then the 223, we have a little bit. Alrighty. Oh, I think I could probably box these up, right? Place into a box. Place into a box. Rather than having them just be loose bullets in there. Same with this, right? I can place these into a box. Wait, is a single box of shotgun shells 24? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, clean up the mess we've made by looting stuff. Or not looting stuff, dismantling, I mean. Getting a barbecue grill might be a good idea as well. Then we can use like the wood scrap and stuff in order to uh, cook with. We won't have to get like a grill or like a stove, I mean. That should be everything we tore down. There's still more stuff to tear down around here that we could do, but for now, let's just ignore that. How much do we got? An amount, okay. I think we'll use this box for our wood stuff. I'll go ahead and put that into there. All right. So I think this wall is going to be our storage, so let's go ahead and take everything that we have that is currently in these, and we'll go ahead and toss them into another crate somewhere. Are those going to fit? Okay. This one crate that we've been using as a dump chest. Dump them all in. And speed up. Meow. You, the watermelon icon changed. It has like a, a giant like pustule of mold on it now. It's gross. It's nasty. All right. So, <clears throat> real quick, we have nails and planks. So what do we need to make a poster five planks and four nails okay 
Go ahead and take all of this real quick. I'm just going to go outside here, I think. Carpentry. Furniture. Composter. We'll just build it right outside here. Probably going to be the easiest place for it. We'll just build one of them for now. In 24 hours, rotten stuff disappears. So, if I grab the watermelons now and put them in the composter, that should prevent them from rotting away. All right, excellent. Like I said, I don't think the rotten stuff that is, uh... rotten stuff that's on the ground or in in a sack i should say i don't think that stuff is going to uh go bad i'm not gonna worry too much about that i'm just gonna look for anything else that is potentially um just raw you know and we'll go ahead and go around the whole uh, perimeter here looking for that stuff if we can find it, we'll grab it, and we'll go ahead and uh, use it. And then if not, we'll just go ahead and clear up some of the stuff around the middle of the area, you know. That one's empty. This one has strawberries, so we'll pass along to that one. All right. Disassemble the crate. Disassemble the crate on the ground, pick the stuff up. Okay. Next. Ooh, more rotten watermelons. I love it. How much do these freaking watermelons weigh? Oh, they weigh a lot. I guess five pounds each, huh? Well, there's some hefty watermelons, then. I should remove this crate, too. It's not against the wall. Need one more plank to make another composter. Which we're probably going to end up needing, to be honest. Scrap wood goes in there. Okay. Ooh, fresh potatoes. Nice. I'll have to sort the stuff from, like, good and bad quality, um, or stale and rotten quality, I suppose, to see if there's anything fresh. I think the only thing fresh is going to be the potatoes, though, so... How's it going to be, huh? stuck on what is what is this hmm it's only hold on there's another crate right here huh okay no not that crate Fuck it, dismantle that one so I can see what the hell's in the way. Alright, so that was the one that I thought. So there was one crate that was hiding from me. That's why I don't like the crates that are, like, just in the way. I also probably get rid of the ones that are in the corner here. At least this one. I just want to make sure I get all the uh, stuff that I can uh, salvaged here. Salvaged? Like the watermelons? Because I'm pretty sure they're usually in a stack of five, not three. So, having them uh, like that definitely means that 
they've rotted away already. So all the time we're spending here looking through stuff, they're spending getting rotten and dying and stuff like that. Okay, let's keep up the momentum. What we got in here? All right, so the first one we need to just put into here. We can disassemble this crate. And this is just the first barn, too. There's a whole nother barn to go through. Or I guess warehouse, technically. Those are good. Those are good. These are good. And everything else is just my own stuff. Cool. Let's make another composter, drop this stuff off, and then we will be able to <laughs> sleep and do our uh, necessary stuff. Become fertilizer for the future. I don't think I'm worried about making too many of those uh, quite yet. At the moment, I just need to uh, have room to put them. So I need to get a sledgehammer to at some point so I can get rid of that stupid chairs that are just sitting there. All right, um, let's sleep. Don't worry, that's just me being schizo. Okay. Let's eat another full thing of cereal. How's my weight looking? 66 and gaining. Nice. All right, skip through that. Jump on out. All right. Now then, let's get our food out of here next. Because I know we have a lot of that. So many canned goods. Yeah, so many that are not even going to fit in the backpack. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and these will go just kind of right next to the wood materials. We'll just throw that in here. Probably going to have to use a, a couple of um, crates for all the canned goods we have, just them alone. We have cereal and chips. Get all of our food out of here. We need to take one of these pills, so let's go ahead and pop one real quick. Take pill. Here we go. Right now we have these dried beans and peas and stuff. We have v -v -v pasta. Luckily never goes bad. Once we actually get like a, a proper like kitchen place here going, we'll be able to uh, hopefully sort some stuff a little bit better. But for now, all of our food is just going to go into a crate randomly on the side here. All right, that's all the food from there. I guess we'll start at the bottom since we're near the last here. Okay, red licorice, gotcha. Peanuts, orange soda, marmalade memories. I almost took the leather strips too, but I don't think you can eat those, can you? Uh, high his. Or I guess. Spin off ho hos. These things. Emergency water rations, they, they count as food. Um, more dried beans and stuff. Chocolate and more chips, yeah. Was that everything? Yep, that's everything that can fit. Okay. Let's grab this much. See how much that is. Okay. Come back for the rest of the canned goods later. All right. So I think we'll kind of keep, try to keep the canned goods all together and then the stuff that's not in cans in another one. So this one. Go. I can't believe my guy finds this boring. This is like high action, just frickin' 
stuff here. Like, where else are you going to get all this sorting going on? If this was me, I'd be like, so happy to like have something like this to sort and do. I'd be like, hell yeah, guys, look at this. Look at all of our stuff. You know, but apparently our guy just doesn't like to do that. I'm going to grab these water bottles out too. Might as well. Let's do one last look as I readjust myself in the chair here. Hey. Looks like all the food's out of there. And then I think we just got seeds and stuff up here, so. Looks good. Looks really good. All right. Excellent. All right. Canned goods. Get you out of here. Might as well keep the can opener with you, too. Oh my god, it's all fit. 72 pounds worth of food. Just canned. And then above it, you have 28 pounds of, like, gummy worms and stuff like that. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Um, I'm going to put the water in here, too. I'll just grab one back. Thank you. And then let's run over here real quick, and we'll go ahead and refill that. Welp. We're down to one more water in this sink. We're going to need a rain collector pretty quick. All right. For now, let's go ahead and grab our, like, scrap sort of items. The things that I don't really know, like, if they're useful for anything or, like, what they really do. Um, stuff like that. Put glue, too. In the uh, top here. The twine, thread, these things, leather strips, garbage bags, up here, and all of that. All right, cool. We'll use this crate here. And in you go. All right. And then real quick, carpentry, furniture, rain collector barrel. I need four garbage bags. So actually, I think all these garbage bags I can use here. Well, in order to make the rain collecting barrel, I need to get... Oh, carpentry four. Never mind. We can make it. Let's go ahead and get these planks and stuff out here. All right, and then, looks like we're getting a little tired, but that's fine. Um, I mean, the hand axe, I already have a saw. We need to cut down a couple trees to get some more lumber. And I could just go and go into here and cut down some more stuff, but I don't want to do that right now. It'll be better to cut down some trees. All the logs and twigs, come on into my inventory, please. I think that's everything here that I dropped or whatever. Okay. So. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get that sink plumbing working. Because in order to do so, we would have to put a rain collector on the roof, which we can't really get to at the moment. So, instead, what we'll do... First of all, i got to saw the logs, don't I? Okay. Let's go ahead and carpentry, furniture, rain collector barrel, and... Uh, 
Uh, let's start over here. That way I have a room for a couple more uh, things there. All right, cool. There we go. We have uh, stuff in there. All right, Schizo, calm down. Let's go ahead and give me this bound journal. And then let's go over to our bookshelf here so that I can do transcribe everything into the bound journal. There we go. Ooh. I guess I can put this uh, bound journal into my normal stuff over here. Okay. Now then. Let's do our farming related stuff next. How about that? Get all that stuff together. Not the books and stuff, mind you, but just like the seeds and anything that's going to be used to uh, farm with. Get the trowel. Okay. At least all the seeds I got then, huh? Okay. Why not put them down here by the door, first of all? There we go. Easy as that. Okay, now let's grab the books. So many like the duplicate magazines. Uh, vehicle schematics. Go. We can kind of sort through what I already have and don't have here after we grab everything out. Okay, that should be everything here. Good stuff. Um, can I build a bookcase? I can. It requires one more level of carpentry, of course, which uh, we're a little bit far away from. What about a small bookcase? I can build one right now. Okay, cool. How much do I need for that, though? Double checking. Three planks, three nails? Okay. One, two, three, and grab half. All right, carpentry, furniture, small bookcase. You know what? Why don't I just put it like right here? Excellent. All right, now I can just grab all of this stuff, click, drag it over into here, which, cool. Everything uh, got put in there. Nice. All right, now. Let's go ahead and take everything that is a duplicate. We do not need those in here. That's just gonna waste our space and our time. Hard to tell if I have multiple of these or not, but I think it's fine. All right, cool. All right, luckily we didn't come out with too many uh, extra stacks here. I was gonna dump these outside on the ground and they'll disappear here along with the zombie corpses shortly. Excellent. All right. Back inside. All right. With that taken care of, the rest of the stuff we have are like odds and ends, other stuff. Let's, in fact, just grab all of this. Medical supplies, I guess. How much stuff can I fit? Okay. Pretty much all that. Put the gas cans back in the truck. No point taking them out. Can I fit all this? No, not all of it. All right. Okay, that's fine. Um, run up here again. Okay. <clears throat> so stuff that I do not know how it is used for other materials. A rope, box of screws, 
Can I reach the wood chest from here? No, darn. Okay, let's reach it now. And I can put the uh, box of nails in here. Excellent. All right, and going down the list here, we have... Uh, let's use this one as our medical supplies. So... really lacking in medical supplies. I'll go ahead and put the uh, first aid kits sort of in front of it. So that way they uh, are there. And I know which one has them in it. I'd much rather use the uh, rate to hold most of it. Cold pack, huh? I've never seen one of those before. Uh, let's see, I should have some scissors. Sutures. Tweezers. There. Alright. Next chest, which has some rotten stuff in it, which we'll just grab out quick. I'll use these two as our melee weapons and tools kind of boxes. Let's start with the bottom one. All right, now that we got that grabbed, let's see. This is the one above it. That one, okay. So, Everything that's car related, I'm going to throw up into the uh, the next one down. That way I have uh, just that stuff kind of in the same area. Uh, perfect. All right, and then... Give me these two. Cool. I really need to find like a lamp or something to put down here. All right, folks, we're almost done sorting through our garbage. Well, plenty of rotten stuff to put into the uh, the mill there, though. That's good. A crowbar and a tire pump. And then that's all. Cool. Real quick before we put the tire pump away, though. Um, I can go over here. Oh, uh, let's see. Tires, 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 tires. Tire, there we go. Inflate tire. Let's go through all of them here. I'm sorry, did you just decide not to do that? I guess maybe I couldn't do the other side because it was uh, too close to the stuff. Seems like it. Yeah, now I can get back there. All right, that's that's fine. That's enough. Where are my tools at? All right, hand axe can go into here. And then the tire pump go into here. All right, and that's everything out of the Jeep that is necessary. Everything else is just gas cans that I want to keep in there because I need them. All right, let's take everything else that we have, put it in the backpack. And then we can, uh, I guess I can leave the bound journal in the uh, bookshelf here too. There we go. I'll eat some potatoes while we're here. Eat another one. 
You didn't know, okay. Um, let's see, what else do I have usually in my main? That. That's fine. We gotta open up one box of cigarettes because we're out of ciggies to smoke. Smoke. Sorry, did, did we not did we not smoke it for some reason? There we go. Alright. Let's close the trunk. Get inside and get some shut eye, folks. Uh. All right. I actually do want to see how our Jeep is looking here. Engine still good. Hood is okay. Trunk lid is not okay. Trunk storage. Wow, we're not even like fully repaired and it's like carrying that much, huh? Roof rack storage is maxed, though. Bare tire is missing. Hmm. Okay. Well. Oh. I guess I didn't close that, huh? I'm just gonna pull this back outside now. There we go. Alright, cool. So... I think we'll uh, wrap up here for now, everyone. Thank you all for uh, watching and all that. Before we actually go, now that we have our farm reached, why don't we go ahead and uh, cross that off our list here? I should lower the thickness of this guy a little bit, though. Reach the farm. Done. That's fine. I, I try to erase the line so I can make it a little smaller, but, you know, whatever. All right. So now we need to find a semi and a trailer. And that'll be great. Um, so I think if we head back to where our person died at last time, which is to say if we head... We head over... Here, I know that there was a uh, fuel tanker here, but we did not see a semi truck. I don't think. But somewhere between here and there, surely we can find one semi, right? And then we can hopefully hook up that large tanker to it, which I'm assuming we can fill with fuel or water. And if we can fill it with fuel, we can then bring it back. And basically have unlimited fuel. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. But yeah, that'll be the plan for next time. We'll try to make our way over here, try to find a semi-truck, do that kind of stuff. Um, I think between now and then, I'm going to go ahead and try to plant some crops around the farm here. Just so that we have some stuff growing and ready. So we don't you know, have to do it all later on, right? So until next time, bye for now.